Welcome back guys to the penitent and life of a felon. It's Friday night. Friday the 13th. That is, it's 9.30. We're on the set at Embassy Suites. We found a little hidden spot right here. It's nice, quiet, good lighting. So I want to talk about Texas prison lockdowns and prison. You go through two a year for two weeks at least. That's just the standard. That's just the standard procedure right there that's not counting other things that are going on throughout the state you know <laughs> other violence or escapes or just y'all gotta have y'all gotta have two yeah for sure two every year i didn't know y'all gotta have like two why, yeah why is that though is yeah. it by law yeah it's like a proceed it's like a policy they do just for to cover you know to cover their safety oh, you know okay. part of safety they allegedly they look for shanks you know shanks oh, okay. weapons contraband basically any kind of drugs and stuff but i've seen guys you know i've seen guys hide stuff i'm not even gonna say it on here because i don't want i don't want oh, it to yeah, get out yeah, there yeah. but yeah they, <laughs> they put some stuff in, in something the yeah rectum? well no nah, not not that not, not not in there i'm talking about like in <laughs> and i don't even want to say it. not in their body not anywhere in their body but yeah. places that wow and it surprised you man like wow man they're genius guys in there man they know how to hide them shanks man i mean them you know contraband <laughs> drugs and tobacco and all that stuff but you know i wanted to read this letter verbatim not everything there's a couple of confidential stuff in here there's a couple of things that i want to put out there a friend of mine he, i'm going to read it real quick he says lewis what's up homie hope all is good and well out there same same old song and dance here nothing new been on lockdown for about two weeks already mm. two weeks already for shakedown other than that just here board <laughs> real quick on the boards that's cool you can keep three of the ones you want if you can get rid of the other three for me i'm hoping you can because i was gonna ask you if you can get me uh e-commerce that's something else that's new i don't know how new it is i say new but when i've been out 13 years and now supposedly you can send inmates money through uh, the internet so that's more fast and efficient you know my sister sent me X amount of dollars on e-commerce right before we got locked down and there's about 30 35 to 45 left on my e-commerce spin cycle I'm wondering if you could do that for me if so I'll put the list of what I want slash need at the end of this letter I'd appreciate it homie I've had the urge to make a and eat a badass cheesecake and then he laughs that's another thing they started doing before I left. I don't know if you heard of those. They do uh, before I left. People they start they they invented the the dessert spreads. Oh, like yeah. yeah, they started making like well, like pies and oh, cakes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, heard they about that. they get like the sweet stuff and I ate one one day. Somebody made one. It, it was too sweet for me, man. It's like they just put. It was just too sweet. I couldn't do it, man. Like birthday cakes or yeah, stuff like that. yeah, cakes. yeah, yeah. I said, wow, man. And people come up with some. Some ideas in there, man. Here soon, I'll be sending you another 70 photos. They're on appeal right now, but I had 70 denied, and that's because I know that at least 20 shouldn't have been denied. But it, but in about two weeks, I'll be sending them because I already know they're going to upheld. He's talking about them photos. Like, you know, women, you know, like in baby suits, models and stuff. Yeah. You can't even have that anymore, supposedly. Mm -hmm. You know, back in my day, we used to, they used to we used to be able to subscribe to adult magazines you know <laughs> yeah they used to have the penthouse playboy all these magazines there, you know there was another youtuber that was talking about that, that back then oh it was a youtuber from florida mm -hmm. he said that they would have subscriptions like that that would they would uh, have like adult magazines and things yeah. like that but now nowadays they got real strict with it they call it contraband now they're contraband sure they're not yeah have that on there. yeah and i heard another youtuber mention not even your own family or wife can send pictures like that you know you sexy know pretty, pictures you know what's pretty messed up is that and i and i know this for a fact is whenever another uh when an inmate is receiving uh, photos mm -hmm. the guards have to go through them and see if they're appropriate oh yeah for sure and, and it's like you're looking at another man's wife. Oh, yeah. And they, and they do talk about it, too. They yeah. They will talk about it. Yeah. That, that, so it's kind of like, man, like, 
don't want her to send it when you do and stuff like that but it's like man all these guys yeah, that's, know yeah that's yeah, another thing yeah i believe that yeah i believe men's wives used to you know send nude photos of their wives and you're right man that's kind of like violation you know yeah everybody else is seeing your wife you know but yes it's one of those things so he's saying what's going on out there with you still working out as soon as i get the, these water bottles i'm gonna start doing a little something about two hours a day five to five to six days a week so he's talking about water bottles look at this it looks like they're selling water bottles now in there so oh, yeah. that's pretty cool yeah they didn't have that back back then we used to have to fill it fill up our trash bags with yeah. water and so that was yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah then them asshole guards they'll come and poke a hole in them man piss you off and right in front <laughs> yeah. of you too man they'll put it in the sink and they'll punch a hole like man piss you off man <laughs> so says got to get back in shape for these females running around here i got my eyes on a couple of them i know he's talking about real film real, real females i hope <laughs> no nah, nah, he's straight he's straight yeah sometimes them inmates they get lucky with them female guards you know uh, yeah i've seen it yeah i know man there oh, yeah and i don't mean to cut you off but yeah there we had a we had one of the guys she, she i guess her her thing was she had a thing for the brothers mm -hmm and man she she lost her job everything and she she ended up she got with the dude and the the dude's wife found out and she hired a pi a oh. private investigator oh man so here in corpus fought, yeah where i was working at oh god and uh hired one of those and man now there's a big case open on it and everything like that so she could be facing some time i don't know yeah you know what they call it they call it well they call it fraten fraternizing with the inmates or establishing a relationship that yeah yeah establishing a relationship yeah so that's risky too because if i remember correctly like even saying certain things or trying to hit on one a woman if she don't cut for you she'll write you a case for that and it and i believe it's a major case and that's a big setback you know on on your parole yeah so you got to be real careful you know messing with them females with them female guards in there if you know for sure she oh, cuts yeah. for you then yeah you can go ahead and shoot your shot how they say so i'm gonna skip this paragraph this is some confidential stuff and he goes on to say and i'm going on two months since i submitted my authentication of identity to the irs for the fourteen hundred dollars so they're getting that irs stimulus checks in there he already got one or two i believe so oh they're getting their stimulus in there yeah too. yeah that's a that's a good thing yeah Especially for those people who don't really make store, you know, or don't have a hustle. Okay, that that's it right there. See, so, so he's talking about not much else to do. I need to go to population so I can get back on that phone. That's what I really need. Access to a phone. Supposedly in these in three to eighteen months, they're gonna start passing out or selling us tablets and iPads. We can put movies, games, and music on them. That's what I'm waiting for. We can even send emails. Seg is gonna be the last one, so I don't got my hopes on it before 18 months. I hope I'm in population when they come out with them. I got a lot of movies to see and music to hear. All right, homie, guess I'll let you go. Be cool and keep your head up, Pancho. So yeah, that's some new developments in the Texas prison. They have all this fancy stuff, iPads, tablets, phones a lot of new changes man there that's that's good that this the system is trying to keep it civilized and, and humane you know because even though you're in prison you know you still want to have these things uh, touch of uh, you know touch the free world you know but uh yeah no that's a good thing that's a good thing right there i'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out guys life of a felon and the penitent here it's a real life letter here from uh, someone at the cofield unit pancho so homeboy man we grew up man we go way back to the third grade literally that's not even joking you know how they say we, we go back to the third grade we really do go back to the third grade man <laughs> we did a lot of stuff in the streets man we were young we in and out of tyc together i was real sad to hear that you know he's doing a lot of time for a, a crime he allegedly committed but it's one of those things man it's real life right here man see how people want these things and it's hard man it's, it's reality man that's reality guys you know, just stay off the streets, man. Stay clean, do the right thing, support your family. Like we always say, we continue to support our mission and vision statement, man. Just stay, stay lit up, man. Stay lit up, guys. Do the right thing. 
thanks again for subscribing. Also, I got another subscriber. I got 17. I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about that. I appreciate that, guys. All right, guys.